All right, ladies and gentlemen, make a video. I'm gonna. There's nothing out there. Nobody really says any way of storing metal files except for, you know, they back in the day, old days. I don't know. I haven't bought any new in, damn, 10, 12, 15 years probably. These come in a box wrapped in paper, oily paper. Well. I've got mine stored on the end of my tables and come up with an idea of using a box uh, and wrapping them in burlap and setting them in the box to keep them from, you know, right now they're sitting here touching on each, but I'm careful not to bang them around. Uh, the thing about it is that you, if they set close together like this in a, in a toolbox and you rub them apart, you got this rough and then you got a real fine if you open and close your drawer over time you'll wear your files down not only that but it causes nicks and damages you know, if you slam your door when you get pissed off and you slam your toolbox drawer you you cause them to beat into each other and uh, I'm trying to keep mine as long as possible. Most of these, well, most all my files are bought second hand in uh, junk stores or whatever, flea markets and garage sales and things in pawn shop. But they're in really good condition. I cleaned all these up and I mean, just near perfect. Uh, but I don't want them to get damaged and I had no way. I thought about storing them in a piece of PVC thin wall PVC and but it just it would the 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 round just wouldn't fit in anything I had so come across with this at the flea market this weekend Jose thank you anyways uh, I'm gonna clean it a little bit and then I'm going to uh, put my files in here I'm gonna wrap them oil them down and it sh should be safe because I'm not going to be moving them at all which I'm not worried about that uh, I'm the only one that touches my tools yeah, well I say that my wife every once in a while gets into them but she uh, she only gets into things that she knows how to use like my sockets slip joint pliers things like that she She's never really worked with files, unless uh, they were filing on bone or something like that in surgery. She used to be a scrub tech, surgical. And they use they use stainless steel metal tools there to do surgery, guys. So that's one thing she knows about tools. They use tools on the human body, though. Anyways, thought you guys might like to see. I think I'm just gonna just do a. It's gonna be clean, like I said. The inside's gonna have oil on it, anyways. So, uh, you know what? While we're here, I'm just gonna clean the top off. Just real. I'm gonna leave the lettering and everything on it. It's American Cow Incorporated. It's K A L. If I remember right, KL Cal Tools made a lot of tools back in the day for the military. They were one of the contract tool contractors. This had a sticker on it for something electronic tools. I don't know what it was. I just I got it off. And No big deal. I just clean it off a little bit. Really didn't need to do that, I guess. Just have it. All right, let's see. Let's get on with this video and quit dill dallying around here. See, that's the, I think 17 inches is what uh, the reason I was looking for maybe a piece of pipe where it. 17 and a quarter it's the longest one the biggest one and I just wanted to keep them separated 
I mean, these are expensive. Simmons file. Uh, I got one Linux. I've got uh, Nicholson files. Nothing cheap. Uh, especially if you go to start replacing these things. So, man, I got a bunch of this. This is what I'm using. Burlap. It's not true what we, back in the day, we used to think of burlap, but it works for me. It's what I need. Let's see how wide this table is. I might just cut it the width of this table. 20 inches. Cool beans, that'll work. Anyways, I want to store my files without having to worry about getting them nicked up and damaged. Some of you guys probably don't care about your tools, but you start paying for them start replacing them, start realizing that stuff gets expensive. It don't take long. As always, tools always made me money or saved me money, so that's, you know, that's the way you, you just gotta look at it that way. All right, I gotta find some oil. I don't keep, uh, I need to get me a squirt can of oil around. Hang on a minute, I'll be right back. I gotta find some oil. I knew I had some, just couldn't find it. Uh, I don't know if I got a squirt container that will work. Yeah, I'll just use my fingers, I guess. Use WD-40, but WD-40 won't uh, it, it won't stay will dry out, and I don't want this. To, don't want these to dry. I just want to put a coat of oil on them and stay. If I ever need them, I can pull them out, clean them, put a handle on them. And I use old screwdrivers to put. Uh, for handles. Yeah, that's what I want right there. Like that. <coughs> That'll work. Yeah, some of you guys probably think this is overkill, but those of you that have watched my channel before know I take care of my tools and I, I make a living with my tools. It's just the way it is. You just have to do it. I don't mind spending a little time. Like I said, I was going to store these in a, a piece of PVC, which would work. I got that idea from uh, plumbing friends of mine that uh, they store a lot of their stuff in the in uh, tops of tubes on their trucks. Which is a good idea actually. But I really had no place to store my my uh, the tube, if I stuck it in a tube, I didn't want to stick it in the rafters or something. I want to be able to where I can get to it if I need to. So I think this, this work, I'm putting in the toolbox. And with all the files I have now, I'm, I'm not going to, in my lifetime, I'll have tools for the rest of my life or files for the rest of my life. I know the, the ones I had in my shop before it burnt down, it, uh, you don't realize 
you miss them till they're gone. Yeah, they, they'll soak through. It's actually worked better than I thought. Well, they can't touch now. And I don't have enough shop table to uh, just put them all on the shop table and there's no need for all of them. Uh, there's three or four of these are identical. Actually, come think about it, I need to take two of these to work. They're for laminate. This is going to be going to work. Sure, I'm making a mess though. Those two I'll leave. There's another big one. This is a half round. See, that's a that's a delta. It's a nice one. You know, the box, the box only cost me $5, so I think the burlap cost me more than the box. I think the burlap cost me like six bucks. I think I'm going to set that down a little. Just wrap that like that. Oh, yeah, that'll work. i got to cut another piece. Ah, the only thing about oil your hands. I know, I know I should wear gloves, but you know what? It's hard to feel what you're doing with a pair of gloves on. Sorry. That's just me. Let's see what I can cut here. Hopefully. Only need about two rolls of this stuff. Man, I got way much, too much burlap here. All right. All right, let's see. I want the longer ones first. Ah, trying to move these gingerly without. There we go. This one's not marked. It's not even marked Chinese. But it's definitely sharp. Look at that. Looks good. I got uh, several more I need to clean and get ready to take to work. I need, I need some more files at work. I've only got a little box of about four, I think. And I need, I just need some more files. You don't need them all the time. Boy, when you need them, they're handy to have. All right. Somebody out there is probably laughing at my little get up, but hey, it's mine. Mill Bastard, what brand is this? Nicholson. It's actually, it's pretty good, but you can see the rust right there, and you can see some rust right there. Oh, sorry, rust right there and there. And that's one of the reasons I want to keep them in oil stored like this. And some of these files, boy, a couple of them are probably close to. 60, 70 years old, if not older, because a couple of these companies, they're not, they don't, they don't make files anymore. Right. There we go. 
This Simmons. A Simmons file. Look at that. That's a good looking file there. Good shape. And that's what I want to keep. I really need to get me a oil can. I like some of the old oil cans. I got two of them over there, but it's one thing about them oil cans. People didn't keep them up. They abused them. Another nice little Nicholson file. Yeah, I need to find a. I may have to break down and buy one. It's a a small file. I can't remember what size it is for sharpening my chainsaw. I sharpen it by hand. I don't. I like sharpening by hand. I just I'm good at it. So. Using that machine, I know they can sharpen it, but yeah, I get better control. There's the Linux. Yeah. Really good shape. for this Linux and put it on the table with the rest of them, but I got too many out now. I'm getting oil everywhere. Shoot. Alright. Almost. If I keep it set like that. Ah. Oh. No, I can't put that one in there. Not with that batch. All right. So I got two, I got triangle, two round ones, and three smaller ones. All right, let me wash my hands. Wipe them down a little bit. Clean up some of this oil mess I'm making. All right, let's go another batch here. Quick video. My videos are never quick. That's all right. Some of you guys like them. Some of you guys learn from them. I've learned some stuff from you guys. Some of you guys told me about some things I didn't know, so that's pretty cool. Tools I use. You know, I use tools every, every, every day. So. Those of us that use tools, work with our hands, we get to see a we get to we get to see an end to our jobs. So there's some people they work every day in an office or doing something and they never see an accomplishment, which that's sad. Yeah, this one's a little dry. Yeah, I'm gonna wool this again. Yeah, some people never see an accomplishment. They never finish, I guess, a project or whatever they want to call it. Sometimes you go through your whole life and never feel like you accomplished anything. I guess that's why some people have uh, what's the word for it? Uh, a hobby, I guess, so they can see they finished something. I may cut the end off on this one. There's another Nicholson. It's starting, if you look, you can see a little bit of light rust forming in there. Just on one side. Oh yeah. It's gonna work. Yeah, that the little bit of burlap in between 
not make any contact. Now this one is a broken file. Mill bastard, but it's a Nicholson file. And I just can't throw a good file away. I mean, it's a really sharp, really good file. Couple more. <laughs> I'm getting oil all over the place. I don't care. My shop. My tools, my rules. Man, this file's fine. This is a real nice, fine file. Can't read it. Tone fit. Looks Italian actually. Huh. Alright, yeah. Don't care what. It's a good file. Now wrap the triangle. Hands are slimy. I think if I can just roll that, yeah, that'll work. If I roll it up underneath, ah, there we go. That'll work just like that. Okay. Now, hell, it was gonna work. I got an idea though. I think there's a piece of burlap twine here. Hang on a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Well, hell, what'd I do with that twine? Well, that sucks. Got it. All right. Improvise, improvise, improvise. Let's cut. Can't believe I lost the twine. There was a piece of twine on this thing. Video's getting long, somebody's not gonna like it, but that's alright. Help one of you guys out, maybe. So, one of, one of my buddies at work, he wrapped his in paper towel, not paper towel, but brown paper sack. Well, guys, I don't know where I'm at. Video, the uh, battery died on the camera so I've got one batch two batches in this is a smaller batch and I got the triangle and the small and the broken ones in there so that'll fit good and you can hear they're not you they're not they're not making any noise that's what I want I, I don't want them touching and I don't and the burlap will hold the oil and I got these two little ones right here which I think I'm just gonna wrap them small ones like this I don't even know what brand these are hang on let me look here guys oh it's an organ file so that's a chainsaw file And this one, can't tell. It's American made though. Round files. Anyways, I'm gonna, same thing. 
hope this, uh, <laughs> I hope somebody gets some information out of this video because I, I, I'd, I'd hate to start over and make a new video. Well, I'm not going to. I don't care. That's just, I screwed up. Let the camera die on me. It's hard to pay attention to what you're doing and look at the camera and make sure it's charged. This is going to be the hard part. It doesn't want to roll that way. Yeah. I'll come up with something. You know what? I got another idea. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. clean my hands off to, just to go in the house. Couldn't touch the doorknob of the house because my hands are too nasty. Didn't think of that when I got my hands dirty. Oh well. Ain't no big deal. This goop stuff works pretty good. Hand cleaner, tool cleaner, just a little bit of every cleaner. Alright guys, recap. Burlap, wrapping them at least once and then I soaked them or soaked them or rubbed oil on them and the burlap's holding the oil so that's a good sign and should be be a good easy way to store them Check that out. So I got 22 files in here, I'm pretty sure, because I've got two left out, uh, both plastic cuts. I'm gonna take these to work. Uh, teeth on these are awesome. These are for uh, laminate, so I'm gonna need them. And. There we go, and I got room to store some more, but I'm not going to, any more files that I've got, I've got several I've got to clean, but I've got to take them to work, and I've got to make some handles for them, probably make another video on that. But anyways, good way to store files. Uh, old toolbox, uh, I left the rail in there where the socket rail was, uh, it actually worked good for the small one, and... Just store this in the bottom of the toolbox. And there we go. We're good. Nothing super fancy. Stays closed. Might put me a little keeper on there or zip tie. It's not a bad idea actually. Zip tie that is. Just be on the safe side because I don't plan on opening these very often. Like that. I don't know if this will cut it or not. Yep, it will. There we go. I'm good as gold now, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you uh, got something out of this video. Short and sweet, quick. I hope. I don't know if the camera died on me, so. Anyways, it's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I was uh, going to store them in uh, uh, either a P it's a PVC thin wall, and I thought about maybe building a box for them, but by the time I build the box and route it and, or dovetail or whatever I was going to do, it's just easier to a little metal cabinet like this, and this is going to work great. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I always forget to ask. Subscribe if you like. Uh, if you see... I try not to be too much of a redneck. I try to hopefully give you guys something that's uh, kind of interesting and maybe learn something from. 
We're always learning something. Anyways, have a good evening.